Statements by members. Member for Chilliwack, Kent. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. March 8th is International Women's Day, a time we recognize the many women, girls, two-spirit and gender-diverse people in our province who are so often the cornerstones of our families, our neighbourhoods and our communities. BC has a long history of incredible people who are making change in our society, people who fight sexism, gender-based discrimination, harassment and violence every day, trailblazers who break barriers, stand up for change and fight for the rights of all people. I'm grateful to be working along so alongside so many women and girls who make an impact every day towards making life better in our province. Our government recognizes that gender equity and empowering women benefits everyone and is essential to the health of families, community, and our economy. The theme of this year's International Women's Day is invest in women, accelerate progress. And that is exactly what our government is doing by empowering BC women, by opening doors and bringing down barriers for women in trades, tech, and other non-traditional roles, by making historic investments in childcare, making it easier for women in the workforce. We've introduced pay transparency legislation to shine a light on pay discrimination and to support women in getting jobs and the compensation that they deserve. We're empowering women in their reproductive health as the first province in Canada to provide universal coverage of prescription contraceptives, the first to offer an at-home self-screening program for cervical cancer, and one cycle in vitro fertilization for free starting in 2025. We continue the work to advance safety for women along with everyone's right to live free from discrimination and gender-based violence. Our every step to support the women of our province is rooted in equity where opportunities are available to all people, regardless of their gender, ethnicity, or other parts of their identity. International Women's Day is a call to action and a reminder that gender equity is one of the most effective ways to build healthier, wealthier, and more inclusive communities.